It has been a big week so far in PNG politics. Votes of no confidence are usually big discussion topics anyway. The movements and announcements caught nearly everyone outside of political circles off guard. And this gathering at the Parliament House State Function Room exactly seven days ago did just that and added new heights to the political frenzy. The PNC's closest supporters, members of the PM's inner circle and those who many expected to be the last to desert the coalition, did so with a lot of fanfare. Enga Governor Peter Ipatas led the press conference announcing his resignation. Southern Highlands Governor William Powi, William Tongam from Jiwaka and Hela's Philip Undialu followed. The cracks were already appearing, but not many saw the Enga governor announcing his exit. His statement was diplomatic, at least during the press conference, but Philip Undialu, however, let loose. Now, what happened to all the, uh, all the funds? Uh, what happened to it? We have issues of you know, declining in foreign currency, which shouldn't be the case. His primary focus at the press conference was LNG benefits and what he didn't say he compensated for with a five-page press statement expressing his disagreements with the PM's leadership. And today was perhaps another big day in PNG politics. All eyes turned to Port Moresby where Puka Tamu, the man hammered over the medicine shortages and the bad supply chain, resigned from the PNC-led government. He was followed by seven other MPs who also demanded that the PM resign during the caucus meeting on Wednesday. For this weekend, MPs will be working overtime as they try to shore up numbers in their camps. As of 5 p.m. this afternoon, another meeting at Laguna Hotel in Port Moresby. The outcome should be out later tonight.